I didn't think I'd like No Deposit, No Return. It didn't really sound like my kind of film, but I'm watching every Disney feature film, so I thought I'd give it a go. And actually, I thought it was pretty good. This was released originally in 1976. It's directed by Norman Tokar, and it focuses on two children, Tracy and Jay, played by Kim Richards and Brad Savage, and they're meant to be meeting their grandfather, uh, J.W. Osborne, played by David Niven, but they end up staying with some criminals instead. I won't go into too much detail about the the background or how this comes to be, but the film is basically them living with these crooks while their grandfather obviously tries to get them back, and it works really well. It is funny. I wouldn't say it's laugh-out-loud funny, but it did put a smile on my face. It's very well filmed. That's both the scenes indoors, and we actually have a lot of time outside as well. I'm not exactly sure where this was set or if the entire thing was filmed on a lot, but um, apparently it was filmed in Pasadena, California, and uh, San Francisco, California, and I, I love the outdoor scenes, particularly when we're in vehicles, and normally I don't care for, you know, chase scenes and scenes in cars, it's not my kind of thing, but again, I was completely drawn in because of how well it was filmed, how likeable the characters are, even the criminals are very likeable, which is an odd sensation, but it works so well. The children are delightful, the performances are great, the costumes are great, the music's great. There isn't anything about this that didn't work. I'm wondering if I'm being overly positive about it, but I think part of that is a reaction from me at being so surprised by how much I liked this film that, on paper, wasn't going to appeal to me. In general, it's just not my kind of story, but it worked so well. It's a bit ridiculous. It's one of those films where you do need to suspend disbelief quite a bit, but that's not something that I ever really have a problem with. I think as long as the story is fun, well-written, well-performed, then I'm happy to give it a go. And, and I'm really pleased that I did and that I had a reason to watch it. I don't think I'd ever heard of this. There are several Disney films that I've been watching that I hadn't ever heard of before. And I'm I'm rather pleased that I'm enjoying this journey of watching every Disney feature film. If you're a Disney fan, I thoroughly recommend you you do the same and you might find some little gems that you weren't expecting. For me, No Deposit, No Return is one of those gems. That's not to say it's the best film I've ever seen. I might not ever watch it again, but I'm really pleasantly surprised that they were able to take a narrative that didn't sound like it would appeal to me and make it engaging, entertaining, with some really likable characters, some really interesting scenes. It's not completely predictable. I had a lot of fun with it. No Deposit, No Return is, for me, much better than I expected. I'd love to know what you think of it particularly, if it sounds like your kind of film. Does it meet your expectations? How does it compare to similar films that you've seen? I haven't seen, you know, an abundance of films like this because, as I said, not my kind of thing, ordinarily. But personally, I liked it. Would love to know what you think of it. Might not watch it again, but if I did, I wouldn't mind it. No Deposit, No Return is certainly one that was a real, real pleasant surprise and one that I really thoroughly enjoyed.